Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Driving home. Hi, Therese. Hi, Sue. Hi, Teresa Cherry. Hi, Helena. Hi, Lisa. How is everybody? Hi, Linda. Hope you all are having a good day. Hi, Lori. Hi, Judy Stalker. Hi, Brenda. How are you? Hi, Sharon. Good evening. Hi, Sheila Teagan. Over on the YouTube, I see. <laughs> Hi, Miss Shauna. I'm okay. Hi, Joy. Hey, hey, Angel. Ah. Every time I forget to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Thankfully, I don't stream from that from it or we'd be all combobulated. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Good evening, Jill. Hi, Rena. How are you? It, hi, Carrie. <laughs> you should be anywhere you want to be, Miss Sheila Teagan. <laughs> Hi, Sheila. Ja the other Sheila. How are you, Miss Edie? All right. I know. I know. I know, y'all. So, some of you were on, um, some of you were on, um, Team BFF last night, the, um, live and um you guys heard me talking about hi miss linda um hi angie you guys heard me talking about i lobbed off a a, a bit of my finger <laughs> so yep so basically this whole top part here of my finger is lobbed off so I had, hi, Lori. So hi, Ari. So I had a meeting with Teresa and um, I we had just finished the clock. So I was trying to clean off my desk. Hi, Trina. And hola, Ari. So I went to go put down this big clock and I was like, ow, that hurt. <laughs> And I look at my finger and it's linking. And I didn't know that this bottle was there and it was broken. Um, and mm. so that sliced my mm. finger. Good evening, mm. Charlene. Mm. Hi, Carol Frost. Mm. So, yeah. So mm. I'm trying to professionally have a meeting with Teresa, you know, because we're she's mm. trying to tell mm. me stuff. Mm. Joy. Oh, I don't know, Bubba. It's when it gets here, I'll give it to you. And my finger's bleeding, but I'm left-handed, so I'm writing, trying to take notes with my left hand, and it's bleeding. I'm like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Sunny. Hi, Cherokee. So, yeah, it's just one of those things, you know. But I do want to tell you guys. So, first of all, I every day that I stream, I stream to Terry's Crafty Creations, Terry Lightsey, and Terry Lightsey on YouTube. So, if you ever lose me on Facebook, I am live on YouTube it, it simultaneously. So, I put in the links to my YouTube um, on my page because I don't know what's going on, y'all. I don't know why, when, how, what. But if you lose me and it's just not a signal connection, if it ends, I'm still on YouTube. So we did a few more things to the clock yesterday. So this is the clock we're working on. So we put, we decoupage the black patchwork rice paper. We put on would you been trim. Um, we still have the trim to put on the front. Um, yeah, no, hi, Nancy, no freezing over there or anything. Hi, Liz. Hi, Jackie Bates. So hi, Deborah. So just really quickly, um, I do have a couple people over on Crafty Creations. Most of the chat is on Terry Lightsey. So if you're wondering why I'm reading or, you know, or talking to other people, um, that's why. Also, welcome to Teresa Renee's people. I'm just, feel, I, you guys know I fill in for her every now and again. So I'm all over the place right now. I'm in, I'm in four places right now. So if you lose me, I'm, I'm somewhere. <laughs> I'm somewhere. I promise. 
All right, let's get my desk onto screen. So I hope it does too. Um, oh, your wallet? I'm not sure, baby. So, okay, so you missed yesterday um, that I just painted the rest of the wood you've been trim we had on black, all right? Um, we still need to paint the trim that's going around the front face here. And then um, we're also going to, you know, start in with our highlights and whatnots today. So. Yeah, because I it was gone. The video was gone. So when the video stops, Janine, it it replays. So that's why. So I was gone, gone. Like I was gone. When the video ends, I, I know you messaged me and said I didn't say goodbye or something like that. I will always say goodbye to you guys. So if it ends, the stream is gone. I'm over on YouTube still. Okay, so we're just going to paint these with plain black paint. And I just used the Deco Art Lamp Black. This is going to go around the face. So we're painting it off of the... Um, off of here because we already have it decoupage. Now, the way that this paper is, I don't know if I have much of it left, but there is like different shades of the black charcoal. So if you're seeing any of the spots other than the, the sides here, that's the makeup of the paper. Okay, so, and we also need to see because I was thinking that we might want to put a piece here too. So you guys tell me, I'm just trying, I think that piece, mm -hmm. that extra that we had yesterday might fit on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And also when you guys lose me, um, I always post on Telegram. If something's happened like that, I always post on Telegram where I went um, and I provide the link directly to um youtube so uh, if you don't have my telegram i would really think about signing up for telegram a lot of the creators are on telegram um we control when the notifications go out i always send mine 15 minutes before it's just can you believe that it's a hair short on both sides so Bubba's go look in your room baby so all of your all of our friends are saying hi as well he's got all his little credit cards and he wants his wallet um so i always post the link and always post you know where i went so hi helen So anyhow, how is everybody's day going? It does stretch a little bit, Janine, but not not that much. I need it on both sides to, to stretch. Your wood have been does stretch, um, but I need it a little bit more than that. He is a funny guy. He's a funny, funny guy. Hi, Mary Casey. Hi, Barbara Ross. All right, so I am going to take a little more than I need just so I can sand it down and get it flush there. Again, don't cut your wood you bin when it is cool. You always want to warm your wood you bin before you cut it and make sure you store your trims back in its coil. Um, just take a few minutes to store, you know, to coil it back. That way you're not risking it, you know, breaking or anything wherever you're storing it in your drawer or whatnot. All right, so I did label these all yesterday um, just so I knew where they were going. So let's measure this here. See what I mean? I think it'll look good right there. All right. So, Drew C. 
Also, if you guys are coming to my auction on Sunday, and um, again, you are you don't have to purchase anything at the auctions. Um, you know, I always just appreciate your support. But if you've never been to one of my auctions, you know that I always have some kind of antics going on, whether it, you know, be crazy videos or whatnot, but I'll always have something going on. And since it's St. Patty's Day, you know, we're going to have a little bit of fun. All right, I'm just going to turn this. I'm not so much worried about getting it curved properly because I can sand that. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to sand it to the shape that I need and then we'll paint these all at the same time. So your wood you bin, you can, it's got the same, um, it's got the same, uh, characters as wood so you can sand it you can drill it you could do whatever you know you do to wood you could do to your wood you bin so it's just pliable when you warm it and i do have a discount code and the link to this trim is down below as well ah, step on all right so let's get these all painted are you and troy dressing up as leprechaun <laughs> goodness could you imagine could you imagine troy would have no part of it mary casey no part of it anytime that um we had a costume for him during halloween i'm just heating these all really quickly to flatten them out so i can paint them Anytime we had a costume for him at Halloween, it could never have like a headpiece or, you know, anything that went over the face or anything like that. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, no paint on the face, nothing like that. Cause woo wee, he would not be, ha he would not be happy camper. Hi, Rennie. Hi, Troy, Troy. Oh, you too, Terry. Hi, <laughs> Sandy. Thanks. Thanks for saying hi to me, at least. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, why? You know, how long have I had this glass mat now? And I still do that. So, yeah, I was so trying to play it cool yesterday while I was talking to Teresa. I told her because I, you know, I was like, sorry, I'm a little late. I just, you know, cut my finger. She's like, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm over here leaking. <laughs> She's probably going to hear this and go, Terry. <laughs> but I was, y'all, I have a very high pain tolerance. I always have. So I, I, it hurt, but it probably, probably should have hurt a lot more. I think I, cause I had something to do. I, I wasn't, you know, focused on it. Hi, Annette. You're not on replay, love. I'm here. <laughs> I'm actually here. Hi, Wendy. So I did post in the group about the bunny box. Um, I'm going to create the actual class group. So those of you who have joined the bunny box class, look for an invitation later. Uh, because that'll be actually where the class will be, you, all the information, all the, the supply list, everything. That'll be where the Zoom link goes in. Uh, that'll be where the recorded video will live forever and ever, you know, as long as the group, that page is there on, on the book. It'll be there forever for you to watch and replay um, as often, whenever you'd like. So they're always recorded. Uh, also, um, I will have links to all products and whatnots for anybody who's just taking the class and not wanting the kit. Hi, Connie. How long will I be here today? 
<laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> one can never, one can never tell with me, Connie. <laughs> no, Rennie, no stitches. The it was gone. That piece of my finger was gone. So they're not gonna. There was nothing to stitch up. It was. It was gone. It, it is gone. So. You waved to me? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> oh, you're ready to jump over to YouTube. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, it's in real time over there, too. So wherever you'd like to go, I'm I'm all over. I am all over. Teresa's just busy today, and um, today is her normal, her normal day. So, you know, since I'm here, might as well. Hi, baby. What happened? What am I looking at? Your phone? Are you trying to find mom? Oh. You want my charger? You're safe for a bit. Teresa Renee Art is live. Why? Am I not live anywhere else? Uh, what does that mean? Troy Troy? Barbara Ross? What does that mean? Betty said hi, Troy Troy. A piece of your... Yeah, that is horrible. A piece of your finger is gone. <laughs> Yeah, it it's all right though. Mm -hmm. Hi, Margaret. Mm -hmm. Brothers, I don't know what you're looking for, baby. Um, Lori, nobody even knew. I was sitting here at my desk. Um, oh, gotcha, Barbara. I was like, don't. I was like, no, not again. Hi, Roxanne. Hi, Cindy. Um, nobody even knew because I was literally getting ready to get on uh to talk to Teresa with on Zoom. So I was sitting here, I put this clock down on the on the floor here next to me and that's when it happened and I I needed to be on with Teresa so nobody even knew and uh I wouldn't have yeah I like I said, I didn't like make any noises or anything. I, you know, didn't yell out or anything. I just, I just sat here and was taking my notes. <laughs> Business as usual. Hi, Renee. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> you guys are funny. Now, you, some of you are going over to YouTube. Yeah, I do. I, you know, I'm just, it's just a great way, you know, for you guys to find me because it happens way more often than than I would like. Um, you know, I look down and I see a bunch of you are over there, and then I look up and all of all of the all of the eyeballs are gone, and I'm like, oh, well, all of them except for YouTube. I could see there on YouTube and. So, again, if it's just a connection error, you know, if it says waiting for signal, oh, just know I'll always be back. Um, you don't have to, you know, go anywhere. But if it doesn't say waiting for signal, your best bet is to go over, go over to YouTube because it's probably not coming back. Um, I think you have to be signed into your account on YouTube to comment back, Cindy. I don't think it lets you comment if you're not signed in to your account. And if you don't have an account and you're just watching on the link, that that could I I believe that's why you need to you need to sign in. I'll get it for you, babe. I will. I'll get it for you. I might have to get up, y'all. Amazon came and, you know, Mr. Troy Boy, he knows. 
All right, so this is the top. So this one definitely needs to be painted on the edges. All right, so what I'm thinking, I showed you guys yesterday um, this beautiful tiger's eye color. So let's play with that a little bit and see, because I also think we need to pull out a little bit of copper. Hi, Denise. How are you? And then, y'all, so you guys know I have burned my arm. And let me just tell you, I'm not accident prone. I'm not clumsy. I'm not a clumsy person. Um, but let me just say, last week I burned my new, you know, tattoo, my new moon tattoo into my arm. Last night, after I lobbed off a bit of my finger, um, I was carrying the laundry basket and jammed it into the doggone door frame. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Patty. Hi, Mom, Pat. Oh! Oh, my gosh. I bet you she is so, oh, my gosh, so excited. How is Lauren? Is she okay? Is baby and dad okay? Hi, Red Barn Boutique. Um, Why do I, I know that I you know. I should know your name, shouldn't I? Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, are you sure, dear Terry? Burn serious cut laundry basket. I'm worried for you. <laughs> Ronnie, I knew that, Ronnie. Doggone it. I knew that, Ronnie. I'm sorry. Hi, Ronnie. So look at this color. This is the antiquing paste, the antique paste in the color um, antique copper. But look at that. So I'm thinking to bring in a little bit of this in there. I'm sorry, Ronnie. I is I said it and I was like, I know the name. I know the name. Trucy, I really am not accident prone. I'm I'm serious. I'm serious. Are we allowed to know the name yet, Mom Pat? All right, so let's look at this tiger's eye. Now I'm going to make you guys all nervous, huh? Oh, y'all. Come on now. What, well, baby boy? I know, I know. I already told our friends that I might need to get up for you. Hold on, baby. Hold on, hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I said, hold on a minute. Okay, okay, hold on a minute. I'm serious. I can't, I can't move fast. I have a broken finger. <laughs> right there. Right there. Okay, baby. I just remember Ronnie's name started with an R. <laughs> Sarah Avery. Oh, my gosh. What a beautiful name. Y'all, one second, I promise. Okay, back up, baby. Back up. Hurry up. Come on, son. Y'all, this boy and his earbuds and his phone cases. I need to open it for you. He already knew. That there was a phone case, I mean a pair of earbuds, because I bet y'all couldn't guess. <laughs> Somebody um decided to chomp on them. Yeah, you know. You have tiger's eye in your cart? Ah. Uh. 
Um, it is in the description, Helena. Helena, it's in the description. It's from my Micah's daughter's link. I did put the link for the tiger's eye in the description. Look, another pair of earbuds. I'm not, I'm telling you guys, this is, I need to take out stock. All right. So let's look at, see, that's what I'm afraid of. Come on down. I think. Because it does pull green. I think I think we have to go a truer gold. It's a beautiful color. Hi Sandy. How are you? My car's technical name is Tiger's Eye Brown. Ooh. Robin will pop on when she can with details. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. So, you guys tell me, but I'm thinking that we need to go with a true gold on that. So... No comment? <laughs> no comment. All right. Let's get out a true gold. And I'll show you what, I, what I'm talking about. What are you talking about, Terry? All right. But I don't want a want. I want a gold. But it needs to be... All right, we're just going to use this piece right here because, you know, we can paint it black again. So let's get, because we need to get the right tone for that. And, you know, we're not doing anything. <laughs> I don't need to be prepared or anything. Okay. And remember, we're going to put the antique copper on here, too. Hi, Tina. How are you? Okay, so up here we have the, the tiger's eye, which let's get that a little bit more opaque and see. We're just going to do gold paint swatches. That's what we'll do. Are you sure you're not from the South? I like it when it pops in and out. <laughs> I don't know. Um... I don't know. I am one of, I, you know, I never know what's going to come out of my mouth. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder where I'm from. <laughs> Hi, Marianne. How are you? Just living the dream. <laughs> Just live in the dream, huh, Tina? How's your weather over there? All right, let's play, y'all. We're going to play with some gold and see what we think. So this one is the tiger's eye. This one is the antique acrylic um, paint metallic uh, antique gold. This one is also, this is gold, but just in the pigment. So I'm going to take our pigment fix. I know, right? That This is my fault because I didn't, um, I did not put a pin in this. So hold on a minute. All right. 
I didn't put a pin in it, and now it's it needs to be it needs to be washed. It needs to be washed. So now, oh, you know what? This one might be it. This might be our winner, winner. Look at that. Hi, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Okay, see. I think that's the one, y'all. Oh, you guys can't see anything. Yeah, Terry. Huh, that's the one. Okay, now come back. Now get back here. I think that that's it. What do you guys think? So we have tiger's eye, the metallic gold, and then the pigment. Yep, that's the one. Yep. Yep. I knew. I knew it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay. So. Do, do, do. Oh. I'm sorry. Am I getting you guys seasick yet? Let's see. Yeah, let's not do that, Terry. Okay. We got a lot, a lot, a lot of brushes. See? Telling you, what better name than chaos? <laughs> if anybody's new to me, welcome. And I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> That's all I can say. That's my, I don't even have an excuse. I'm just sorry in advance. No, this one is the metal pigment in gold. So this is available at my TH Decor. So we are, um, it's cloudy, but it's, it's 59. Hi, Kathy. To get you a bark. Hi, Sally. Hi, Sally. Hi, Sally. Okay, let's flatten that back. Yeah. All right. So. I mixed in the pigment fix. Just going to make sure it's mixed really well because I did that just kind of really quickly. And it just looks like we melted some gold bars or something. I love it. All right, let's let's do this. That's beautiful. I think when I lost uh, blood yesterday, it also made me even more goofier. I don't know. I think so. Sue was asking me how I was doing today. And I was telling her. She says, well, you need to do this, that, and the other. And I said, okay, I got, got it under control. She said, what'd you put on it? I told her, and she was like, what? <laughs> I love you, Sue. She just said to me, the nerve. Oh, oh, hi, beautiful Monica. How are you, my friend? Y'all, I, 
A girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. There was business being handled. I, I was working, y'all. I was talking to my boss. I had to be professional. <laughs> I know. I don't want Miss Odessa. Miss Odessa was talking about the belt, y'all. Good Lord have mercy. I don't need Miss Odessa getting the belt. She even gave me a hand on her hip emoji and everything. Good Lordy be. <laughs> you know what I said yesterday? I said, well, thank God for stretchy rings. <laughs> Not that I wear a ring on that finger, but woo, Nelly. After that first bandage, I think I had the whole dog on. I don't know. Just put it this way. <laughs> the bandage was so big on there, Nick goes, you need to rewrap that. And I was like, why? I don't want to take it off anymore. He was like, no, really. You need to rewrap it. Gosh, fine. So it, I rewrapped it. <laughs> it doesn't look like another person is on my hand. That's how big it was. <laughs> Y'all, don't ask me. <clears throat> sometimes, like I said, sometimes you just got to, you know, keep it moving. <laughs> just got to keep it moving. I sent you a message back, Betty. <laughs> these look so cool just holding them like this with this gold on there I love it and then don't forget we're going to paint all of the other trim as well so we'll get these done and then put these on so you're not a doctor too no <laughs> birthday class look y'all i'm just gonna say crafting supplies are not only for crafting <laughs> Sometimes they stop leaky fingers. <laughs> All right, let's flatten these down. <laughs> oh, I know Miss Odessa don't play. Trust me. Trust me. All right, I'm just going to hold them flat for a second. <laughs> Bonding primer. Hi, Helen. How are you? No, I didn't use bonding primer. I didn't. I, I might have used some super glue. You know. Am I on? No. Not me. So I know pigment fixed colors won't keep well, but how long do you have? You know what, um, Miss Connie? If a lot of air is hitting it, so if I'm going to leave it on my desk just, you know, open like this, it's going to get almost like a film on top of it. You know how, like, we'll paint, you know, how it has that dry film on top of it. It's not going to keep long at all. If you cover it, it might keep for, I don't know, an hour or so, but it's it won't keep for long. Yeah, so that's why I tend not to, um, you know, make too much at one time. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going, so this is the antiquing paste, right? So we're putting it on, and we're just going to look at that. 
We're just going to wipe it back and then look at it now with, uh, compared to our clock in the color. <clears throat> I tell you guys, I'm here for your entertainment. But yeah, bonding primer, tacky glue, bandages, and gold metal pigment is so beautiful. <laughs> See? How good is that? I think it's winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, so um, we're going to do that on all of the trim. I'm just doing these on here really quickly because obviously we've got this paper down. Um, so again, with your antiquing paste, you know, you could put on as much or as little as you like. I know sometimes it gets a little scary because you think that you're ruining your project, especially if you go in with the, you know, darker colors, dark umbers and the dark brown, but it does wipe right back off. And I told you guys, if you want to really get, you know, get it off, just use some transparent wax, clear wax, and you're, you're good to go. Okay. So we're just going to, again, just take a little bit of that. Um, I think I started to talk about it and then I don't know, I went off on a tangent. So on Friday, it, I, on Sunday, if you are coming to the auction, um, if you I would ask that you please make sure that you do have the YouTube on backup just in case there's anything funny going on with the comments or anything like that. Um, just so you know that, you know, even if you're not bidding, that's totally fine. I always just appreciate your support, but I always do, you know, some type of fun giveaway or something for which is open to everybody. The, the giveaway is for everyone that day and whether you've purchased something or not. So I just want to make sure that I'm able to see you all and include everybody. The antiquing paste is antique copper. Uh, you know, probably wants to focus on my big finger. So antique copper, and that's available at my TH Decor. Okay, so I did put, I did put, I did label these yesterday because I actually was using my head. All right, look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, Terry, let's not, let's not and say we did. Let's not and say we did. I may have to go in and repaint that back later. I don't know. We'll see. Um, just from, I have the paper towel down, but you know, it might get a little scratch, which is fine. It does, right? The auction is going to be at six o'clock your time. So bonding primer, bonding primer. Hi, yeah, yeah. Tight bond, quick and thick. I am going to use that for my would you bin. I'm going to grab my little bottle holder. Let's push some of this out of the way. And if you watch YouTube as well as Facebook, Terry, dear, I will come here for auction. If you watch YouTube. Yeah. So. <clears throat> You'll notice my auctions are always a little different because I am streamed all over the place. So if you always watch up onto the screen, just like right here where it says you can't see me, but see in the bottom left hand corner from Monica, she says, thank you. So what we do is we always put the highest bid up on the screen and I will say as well, but that way um, you can always see the highest bid as well as hear it so no matter where you're bidding from uh you'll be able you know you'll be notified so you'll be good good all right let's get a little bit of 
fingers are just squeezed. Oh, it's off that finger. Oh, good cuddly mugly Terry. Woo wee. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I can't squeeze. Put on, y'all. <laughs> oh, it's not me. It's the bottle. Man, Terry. Trace is going to say, why on earth did I have you go on my page? I'm sorry, Teresa. Hey, sorry. Hmm. Hi, Tina. How are you? All right. I'm probably going to drive you guys crazy. So I'll calm down. Telling you the loss of blood. Probably lost a few brain cells. Get this on. Okay, I'm just gonna lift it just to make sure I don't go above the ridge and then, you know, you can't get the door open. That wouldn't be good. Okay, and then let's heat it up so we can really put it back, put it in place. Near mountain time. Four on Sunday for you? Yeah, because it would it's three o'clock my time. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna put that on there. Make sure the door opens. Let's get this. And Nicole will be with me, helping me on my auction. So, of course, doesn't make sense for her to just be there, not do anything, you know, put any of her pieces in. She does have an auction with Kathy D on Friday. Um, but if she has any other pieces or whatnot, you know, I she'll have some in on uh with me as well so it'll be just like last time y'all all right just make it sure you know what Ready? I said the same thing when i took the clock out i said it actually looks like it could be a birdhouse The mechanica, the mechanica, the mechanism um, just clips in there. So if somebody wanted to take out the, the clock part, they definitely could. It just hooks in. All right. So now I'm going to lift it again and get these two corners where they need to go. Make sure that's where it belongs. What piece do I, uh, let's do this piece because the outside piece, I have more to hold. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Cheryl, I, I am all about, you know, all about helping each other. There's just no reason why you can't, you know. As far as I'm concerned, I want everybody to succeed at whatever they're doing, you know, small businesses, hobbies, you know, whatever it is. And if I can ever be a part of helping, you know, somebody, especially another creator or, you know, on on uh, Facebook or YouTube, it's, you know, doesn't do anything to help somebody, you know, it doesn't take anything to be kind and helpful. 
Although at this point, I don't know if anybody wants my help. <laughs> They're gonna see me today and go, "Ooh, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good." She's a little bit too cuckoo for me. All right. So, as usual, I'm gonna need. I need to get all four on, um, and then do any adjustments. So. I'll get all four on, and then I'll squish them all into place where they need to be. I want that fucking smack. What the heezy wheezy? I was not either. She's telling stories. I said you would be at the auction with me on Sunday, and you would have pieces in. Mm. Hi. I just gave you new earbuds. I know. I don't. What? Virtually? I have no idea. Are you looking for more earbuds? Boy. Oh, I didn't open a package and you want it opened. I don't think that's anything fun for you, bud. <sighs> Uh, anytime, Brenda. Um, Trace, I think she said she was driving, Juicy. I think she said she was driving and listening, I think. Troy, I don't think this is anything for you, son. Oh, no. <laughs> it's his... <laughs> It's pop sockets. My bad. I sorry, Tatoy. I sorry. I sorry. Mm. I sorry. Mm. Oh gosh, Troy! Don't you know I'm doing a live over here, boy? Huh? Or is it your live? They're actually just tolerating me. They come actually for you. I already know. I know. I know. It's all right. she is okay <clears throat> so now that they're all on i'm just gonna kind of heat them all so i can move them and adjust them to be square square up to the miters so that is one thing about your once you know with your tight bond or whatever you can move and reposition your um would you bend just heat it back up so now I'm going to come in, make sure that is up to the edge. That obviously needs to scoot up and back down a little bit. And I need to make sure this is flat down here so it opens. Oh, did you guys see my shirt? I wore it for you guys. All right. We're good. Good. Who's good? Open, close, golly, you guys. Tell me that doesn't look good. Some cognitive sense. I know, Troy Troy, where's your PT time, son? Oh, my gosh. Hi. Oh, Lordy B, we're going to put pop sockets mm -hmm. on everything now, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go mm -hmm. this way. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm at your service, sir. Anything you want, I will do for you. There you are, my love. You know, just over here trying to put trim on, Troy. <laughs> Ooh, what a day, what a day. Doesn't look good. It looks incredible. Marvelous. Aw, oh, thanks, guys. See, I should lose more. You know, I should have leaky fingers more often. You see? Mm -hmm. You again? <laughs> you again? Mm. Hold on, baby boy. Hold on. I know. I know. There you go. Mm. I know you got a pop socket. Now you got 
Now you want me to take that pop socket off and put it on everything. Never sending you another bottle. Never. <laughs> Come on. One of them are bound to get it right at some point. At some point, although she did send me a bottle that I that they cracked the top a little bit, not that one, a diff, another one, and I'm I'm not I'm not happy about that because that one is I can fix it, um, but it's not nice, y'all. Look at that! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Let's get these other ones. So. Miss Connie, that one's been, this has been sitting there for a little bit, and it's still okay. It didn't have too much of a film on it, but also, um, you know, <clears throat> what you call it, there's not much in there either. Okay. Those mailmen use that box. Yeah, uh, I showed Nicole. The whole side of the box was open, 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 open. They, it, it was, the whole corner of it was demolished. So, I don't know. I, I'm really surprised that, you know, it, all of it wasn't in bits and pieces, the way that whole corner was. Okay. So, hold on. There's a little bit. Is there a ridge back here? What's my brush catching on? There's a little bit of a ridge back here. So, I'm going to go ahead and, I guess, paint it? Or no? So I'm just using one of the flat brushes that I always tell you, the um, one with the tighter brush head. See that ridge? My brush keeps catching on this ridge. Let me do this back here first. And then since it is just all black, whatever cleanup I need to do is fine. I was thinking, I had pulled out this, the Deluxe Paste, the black gold. I had thought about painting all of this, um, the black, into that black gold. But because of this, the trim, I think it's going to be too much. I think we'll just leave it. The mat. I do have the black glaze paste. The um, it's called Filter Noir. I think I might rub this on all of the black once it's done. We had a new microwave delivered box was crushed, taped up galore, and ruined. Oh my goodness. They do that here only if you put a fragile label. That's what Nicole was saying. She was like, if I put a fragile label on it, I feel like it gets, it's busted up even more. If I don't, it's still happening. So I don't know, but. So that, this last box, um, I couldn't believe it. It literally looked like somebody had either. Put, they either put another box on there that was super heavy or they stepped on it. Because in order for that corner to open completely like that, yeah, there's no way. Okay. So, got a little carried away back here, but I'll paint that. Well... I'll tell you what, since I have the black out, 
We'll just pretend it never happened. No one will know. See? Hi, Karen. Hi, Grandma Joes. How are you? How are you ladies doing? You said congrats when you were driving. Okay. Do we paint this ridge too? This little lip down here? Papa Mac. Oh my gosh, I love it. Should I paint it and let you guys see it or, or what? All right. You're surviving. Oh, Karen, I mailed a package to my daughter. She never got it after three weeks. UPS said that I had put an insufficient address on it and returned it to me. I did not have an insufficient address on it, but the packaging and the box inside were destroyed. Fortunately, the things were fragile, so I paid twice to send the gift. Yeah. How convenient, right? How convenient. Okay, so... We're just going to, because I don't want to paint the back side here, but we might have to paint that there in the front, but I don't know. You guys, we can look at it. I'll paint it with and without. I say paint it. Dennis said yes. Dennis! How are you, Dennis? Poor Dennis, you have to listen to <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Okay. No, 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 no. Hi. There we go. Tell you, shipping is getting insane. I have items that are never going to be delivered. Oh, no. Oh. I mean, Shipping, you know, the, the, what they charge to ship anymore is out of control, but you would think, gee, Manis, do you guys really have to use, you know, the boxes as stepping stools and footballs and whatever else you guys are using them for? Because... You know, and then, yeah, you know, every time you have that little bit of, you know, insurance, right? But you to do one of those insurance claims is also a nightmare. And it's just, I don't know. I mailed a t-shirt from South Carolina to Connecticut cost $16. Mm-hmm. He actually just walked in when you asked the question. He looked at me and said, tell Terry, yes. Ain't it gold? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. I'm glad somebody answered me. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Seven hours later with the painter's tape. All right. Good enough. Okay. I'm not going to worry about painting um, the clear gesso. Only because it, it's it got a little ridge and it's black. So I'm not going to worry about doing all of that right now. But you guys know the gesso trick. So let's just paint this and then we don't have to worry about 
actually, let me let me get a little fluffy of a brush since we're not having to. We're gonna have to mix more pigment, but I will mix it in um, a clean a clean cup, just because there's some dry on the edges there, and I don't I don't know. It doesn't make a difference, I guess. Okay, so let's get all of this painted first, and then I'll come around with that flat brush again. It's a pain to do. It is. It really is. I get zero cooperation when something is sent. Mm-hmm. Hi, Roxanne. Thank you. So good to see you. Shipping between the States and South Africa is between $40 and $80 with DHL, and it takes three to five days. Good, cuggly, muggly. Hi, Miss Kathy. Hi, Dana. How are you, ladies? Okay. Troy Troy has probably got a pop socket on. Every, it came in a pack of four. So he's probably got a pop socket on everything on, you know, his cases. And then later on, he'll come out and he'll want those pop sockets taken off of those cases and put on new cases. <laughs> Which will be oh so fun because they're not meant to be taken off and put on so many times. But that's okay. That's all right. King Troy Troy said. Hi, Paula. What are we painting? We are painting a clock. So we are just painting the, um, the trim. Ouch. We're painting the trim and... Um, I'm going to take that off. Keeps pulling my hair. And then we're going to antique, use some antiquing paste. The latch on here was broken, which isn't a big deal, but we'll put new hardware on it as well. So I will put bonding primer on the hardware, and then I will paint the hardware gold and um, use the antiquing paste on the hardware as well. I've just, wow, that comment went fast. I just got a federal jury summons. I've never gotten, ooh. Wow. A federal jury summons. Good, cuggly, moogly. What did you take off? I was a bit late, Terry. What happened to your finger? Oh. Uh, I lobbed off a tip, the tip of it uh, on a broken bottle yesterday. Yeah, uh, not quite missing a digit, but a little bit of it. I'm probably, you know, short the area code. <laughs> I got the phone number. Might not have the area code any longer. <laughs> I swear. Nicole sneaking out again. Okay. Oh, you have Drusy?
Okay. There's probably gold underneath here I'm going to need to paint because, again, that's why we do the little gesso trick. All right. So now I'm going to come back. I'm actually going to get a smaller flatter brush. Let's tip it back. And move some of this out of the way, because why do we have this all here still? Why did I use a gator? All right, let's go this way. Everything's going to fall. So I'm going to, actually, let's just make mix some new stuff now, because I'm going to need a little bit more for the trim. And I'm actually thinking that maybe we'll do this bottom one, too. Ouch. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. <laughs> there goes your fingerprints. My fingerprint. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Did you see my answer to your pop socket question? Oh, I didn't even see a pop socket. So pretty, I have a clock that this would be perfect for. I already had it had, had it painted. May I copy? Of course. Of course. You know, all I ever ask is if you guys, and this doesn't, it's not just for me. This goes for everyone. Like if you're, if we do this so you get inspiration and, Anytime somebody does something that I have, you know, done, I just think it's the coolest thing. All I ask is that, you know, you just let it be known that, like, you know, got inspiration from Terry or inspiration from Nicole or whoever you're getting your inspiration from. Um, that's all. That's all. Oh, were you wondering what a pop socket was? Sharon, are you not? I hope you're not talking to me because, good Lord, I already don't know what I said. You again? Mm. Oh, good coogly moogly. Mm. Troy James, really? You want me to pour that all in that? What? He just smiles at me slyly like, you know, I asked you. So, no takers? I'll do it myself. Mm -hmm. I wish you guys could see that little side smile he does. All right. Let's do this. You're back again? Son? Son, do you know that I love you? Mm -hmm. But the things that you have me do when I'm alive. Mm -hmm. I'm getting there, son. I'm getting there. You gotta be careful. There's lots of um there's lots of rice paper around here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I know. I know I'd get in trouble if I didn't do it. So now, good cuddly movie. Is, isn't that what goes on the back of a phone? Yes. The pop sockets? Yes. That is it. You know, anything that has to do with the phone, whether it be a charger a phone case, a pop socket, 
you know, Troy needs it in multiples. Hi, Gail. Hi, Diane. Did you take the bandage off? Did I take the bandage off of my finger? No, I'm scared. I'm scarred. Ah, literally, I'm scarred. Don't shake it. Don't shake it. <laughs> Don't shake it. Oh, my good Kugly Mugly. Troy, if you shake that pop and then that come, you come over here and get that all on my, oh, look at that. Get that on my face. You know how much snorting Sue will do? She will crack up laughing if I have a face full of soda. Terry, we know you are an expert when it comes to phones. <laughs> I thought no on painting the trim, but it looks great. Oh, I thought everybody said yes. Did everybody say no? And I spaced it. I missed them, Ben. No, Dennis said paint the trim. We can blame Dennis. Dennis said, oh, could Kugly Mugly. See, now I got all nervous. What could I swore y'all said paint the trim? See, Dennis? You got me in trouble, Dennis. Just Sue? No, not just Sue. I know. You would be cracking up, too, Nicole. You'd probably tell him to do it again. Shake it some more. Do it again. <laughs> I'm kind of digging it, y'all. Do we not like the trim painted? Okay, after Terry is done, I love recycled anything. <laughs> so, Nicole will be on after me, Roxanne. She comes on at 6 o'clock Eastern Time. So, you'll be able to see her tonight. Oh, I do. That's why I know you would tell him to do it again. Actually, you probably wouldn't tell him to do it again because you wouldn't be able to because you'd be laughing so much. Uh-huh. That's exactly what would happen. Okay. Okay. I'm going to just dry this side really quickly. It dries fairly fast anyways. <laughs> Hi, Betty. And then we'll do the, I'll do the back side um, off camera. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ooh. Oh, what on earth? How did I do that? Hm. 
I'm just sanding it flat because there was a, a little, little bubble there. The chaos has been spread far and wide. Thank you. Thank you, Roxanne. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, what is wrong? I wanted a new brush anyways. Anyways. They're dropping like flies. <laughs> And then after we get this side done, I will go through and antique it. Yes, I do, Deborah. Unless it's something that I can't hide it because I will either put it on the bottom or the back or tucked in like in underneath or something. If it's something that I it can't be hidden, I usually won't uh, unless I ask. But every yeah, I for the most part, I sign everything. Okay. Okie dokie, artichokey. Actually, let's go up this way. And then let's get our antique paste. And my little soft cloth. And okay, so did I? Yeah, I already did that one down there. And we're just going to come and do the same thing that we did on all the trim around the face. It's pretty. Did I sign your tray already? Sharon? Oh my goodness gracious. You're going to get Drucy started again. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I sign, I go through and sign everything like um, you know, cause I, I take every piece that's going to be in the auction and I make sure that everything is ready, you know, make sure all the backs are done underneath is done everything. And then once it's, I know that it's ready, then 
I sign everything. I'm looking forward to the battle bidding. Oh, guys are so funny. You're such funny bunnies. <clears throat> okay, let's lay. Actually, let's take that off. And then we'll lay it down so you guys can see. Again, there's probably some underneath that will need to be tidied. Like right here. Oh, that's actually not too bad. There, um, again, if you don't, you know, you could have avoided any underneath bleed if uh, you just put some gesso on it. So, but this is why I wasn't too worried about it because it's black. So, just go back in and erase it. I'm going to be ducking as the bidding is going. I need to make sure to watch to see who gets your tray. <laughs> You're bringing popcorn. Oh. Y'all are bringing popcorn. I'm going to just be, I'm going to be ducking. You're not going to even see me. I'm just going to have the, the tray raised up. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Look at that, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Good, cuddly, muggly. I love it. Oh, hello. I'm going to get yelled at because I'm putting the stop and start. Yes, you are. I think she may... I'll be in command here. Juicy's proxy bitter. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, you have Juicy uh, for YouTube, just in case, Sue? <laughs> okay, just making sure. All right. Now, thank you, Paula. I think, do you guys think that this bottom one needs to be painted? Hold on. See, something's missing down here. So, because if you look at it, oh my gosh. So something is missing down here. So now, <laughs> so now, the question is, though, do we just paint the little lip or do we paint that whole bottom step? Just this little trim here. You guys see what I'm talking about? There's a like a step. There's one, two, three steps. So that actually dried up a lot, or that little top layer dried a lot quicker because there was more in there. Mixed it with that brush. Let's change the brush. The frame around it. Yes. Is 
Thank you. I'm actually going to flick out this way. It's better than... Because it'll stop right at the ridge. If I go at it the other way, it's... Hi, Sandy Triplet. See, now it's now it's better because it was it was it was by itself and lonely down here. So what I will do um, off camera is put the clock back together. Like I said, I'm going to change that whole, uh, the whole mechanism in there anyways. And then I'll reassemble it and put it back on. These sides, I don't know. Um, I, I'm not sure. I'm thinking that I might just do the hardware in the gold. The thing is, is it's so much now that I hate to, uh, you know, it's getting to be like very like gold blingy. So I have to be careful with doing too much to the sides before it starts to look like gaudy. You know what I'm saying? So if anything, because there's gonna there's hardware on this side, obviously. There's hardware, the hinges are on this side, and then uh there's gonna be a locking right here. There's gonna be the lock. So I think what I'm gonna do is just do the hardware in the gold and the antiquing paste and just glaze the black, all of the black with the, um, the filter noir. I'm just afraid if I start doing too much to it, it's going to go from looking, you know, I just got a loan. I'm prepared to go five. Oh, my goodness gracious. Connie. Good coogly moogly. Have you lost your bananas? <laughs> you are not taking a loan and buying the tray. Silly willy. Silly willy. So you guys tell me, what do you think? Do you think that it it it's going to be too much? It's going to get, you know, to that tacky, gaudy stage. Because like I said, um, I just, I'm afraid. I'm afraid if I start, you know, trying to do texture and yada, yada, yada on the sides that it's going to, We're going to cross that line of being a nice piece to, uh, you know, oh, goodness. 
Troy and Onyx. I can hear you guys messing with each other. Just because I can't see ya, I know what you're doing. Uh-huh. You see, you come over here with that sly smile. It's never too much. <laughs> the only thing I would think of is a very subtle stencil, something not busy at all. Ooh. But there needs to be something through that stencil. So if we're popping it out with, you know, some type of texture paste or modeling paste or, you know, something like that. Just the hardware, shade black, a simple light pencil might work, pressure paste, and then brush. Try, try, please turn that down, son. What did Sharon say? I'm on 12. You know, I wonder where Juicy went because Juicy didn't even comment on, um, Sharon telling me to sign her tray, but if she watches the replay, I can only imagine all the comments that are going to be in <laughs> that she's going to make. Okay, so let's grab now, and I'm not even going to redip. I'm just going to take what's on here, and again, I will do the black or back later. So I'm just going to take this, whatever's left on the brush. And then just lightly, and then let me turn it, and I'll show you guys. I'll take the hardware off later, but... So, as you can see, if we just put a little bit of the, the gold on the sides, let's clean this up right here. I really do think that that's probably going to be enough, don't you? Where or where did Juicy go? Juicy, you see what you're up against on Sunday? <laughs> Yeah, I will. Yes, I am left-handed, Debbie. So I'm thinking that that's going to be enough. And then, again, we I will go over all of the black with the black glaze. So what the black glaze is, it's just I'm going to rub it on, basically, and then just um, I'm going to basically take it back off. So I'll do, I know I'm working with sharp objects. Okay, so let me show you what, and I'll just do it right here on this side and then I'll finish it up so that way you guys aren't all just, you know, watching more paint and glaze dry. So. What this is, is just a glaze, and it's going to give it that little bit. Okay. 
Okay, so we'll paint that on there like that. Just going to show you this little spot. And then I'm going to come with a cloth again. And then I'm just going to kind of almost just buff it out. Okay, so can you see the difference between that right there and then the rest of the mat? So that way it'll give, it'll still give the black something. Um, okay, Sandy, <clears throat> see you later. Thanks for joining me today. So it'll still give the black something. It won't be just that matte black, but it's not also that big gloss either. Your auction prices go up that much. No, Roxanne, they're being silly. They're being silly. <laughs> they're just being silly. <laughs> They're trying to scare one another into not bidding. <laughs> never, never, ever have I ever had anything go that for that price, Roxanne. Roxanne's like, yep, nope, I'm done. <laughs> oh, hi, Yolanda. How are you? From Amsterdam. So that's what we're going to do. So um, when... I will take pictures when I'm done. So basically, the only thing I'm going to do, yeah, see that gold looks a lot better. And then, again, I really do think just the little pops of hardware here and here on the side will be, um, you know, perfect. And then, like I said, I'll go over it with the glaze. Everywhere there is black will have that glaze. I was just kidding. I can't afford her pieces either. Connie! They were just playing. <laughs> you guys are silly. Now nobody's going to come to the auction. You're going to have to buy everything, Sharon. <laughs> so, and then you guys can see that little bit of that little glaze. I think that's going to be perfect over all of it. So, um, what I'm going to do, and then look, it's already dry. It's, it's perfect. So, what I will do is I'm going to glaze all of this paint the hardware. I'm going to fix the clock. Again, I think the only thing that I'll use from the original clock is just the, um, the glass and then the little, the frame around it. I think for the most part, I will change out all the other pieces. Uh, and then tomorrow I'll probably finish that while I'm watching Nicole. And then I will <laughs> share it. And then I will take pictures and share it with you guys. But thanks for being here and putting up with my craziness. Um, I will be back with you guys tomorrow. What is today, y'all? Oh, my goodness. I'll be back with you guys tomorrow. It's Wednesday. And same time, same place, and we'll have a new project. So anyhow, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for being here. Talk to you later. Bye.